I could tell feel you, could tell feel you, see to his back. Last time we also said, if I can recall very well, we said that we had a geometric sequence, which is like this, let's say, term 1, term 2, say we have 4, which is our term 1, which is our term 2, term 3. This is a geometric sequence, why do we say so? Because we get one a constant ratio, 2 divided by 1, 2, which is our ratio, see, which is our ratio, the side. Then now let us consider the geometric series, which is given by now 1 plus 2 plus 4. You see, one, two, three. See, now we have the sum of how many times three. Then this one is a geometric series. We sum the tens of geometric sequence. See, so simple. The way it said it has to do with what? With sum. Now, Okay, what I'm going to do, I want us also to sum these three terms, not just by adding them, but using a different approach, which is then now, which is then now going to be study. We have one plus two plus four. We found our ratio to be two. Now, what are we going to do from here is we are going to multiply this as, let me say, almost everything with what? With the value of R. We got 2. This value multiplied by 2. We get 2 as 3. If I multiply 1 by 2, what I'm going to get, 2. Then I write that 2 to be aligned with this 2. Then 2 multiplied by 2, I get 4. To be aligned with 4. Then 2 multiplied by 4, I get 8. Yes, 8. To be aligned with that. Then I don't have a number here. I don't have a number here. I can just write 0, 0. You see? Then... Immediately after doing this, we can then write what a line like this. We have, let's say, part 1 and part 2. You see, part 1, part 2. Or oh, let me say equation 1 with equation 2 to make it things look much easier. Then I want us to say 1 minus two let's see what are we going to get this one minus this one you are going to get a negative value of three one minus zero i get one two cancels two four cancel four then zero minus eight i get minus eight then at the end of the day, I'm going to get negative 7 with minus S3. If I divide everything by negative 1, I get S3 to be 7. Is it true? Yes. 4, 6 plus 1 is 7. Now, I want us to use the very same approach to try and figure out this formula now, which is of geometric, 1 minus r, and 1 minus r. Let's see. It's so simple, so simple. Then we need now to consider Sn. We no longer use numbers now. We use variable. Then don't forget this formula, the general formula of what? Of geometric 
sequence which is like this if i were to ask you the term one for this how will it look like you're going to say one minus one if you say one minus one you get zero any number or the variable to the exponent of zero we get one at the end of the day we're going to get t1 to be a our t1 is going to be a our t2 is going to be let's say a r you see going to continue like this then the term before that is going to be n minus 2 and the last term is going to be n minus 1 which is our general formula you see then look for this one what have we done we multiplied almost everything by what by the ratio of two for this one we are going to consider the ratio now which is our which is the variable in this case we are not we are no longer going to use two but instead we are going to multiply by the value of sorry the variable r let us do so r multiplied by a we get a r we make it be aligned with this one you see plus the term before this if we multiply it by r it's going to give us the same as this one n minus 2 same applies if we multiply r with this one we are going to sorry r with this one it's going to give us this one which is a n minus 1 then now what are we going to get if we multiply this r with the whole e r n minus 1 do you still remember the exponent let me take you back to the exponent we have r multiplied by which has the exponent of 1 we have e r n minus 1 you see same piece let us add what the exponent we are going to have n minus 1 let us add this plus 1 see one and one cancels at the end of the day we are going to have something like this which is a r n you see then let us draw a line like this now immediately after drawing a line like this we can then say we have equation one equation two my apology about the noise outside okay we have equation 1 and equation 2 somewhere there. Bear in mind, I don't have anything. I don't have anything over there. We can just say 0 plus 0. Then let us subtract 1 with 2. 1 minus 2. I'm going to say Sn minus R s n see this side a minus zero we get a then this side zero minus a r n we get minus a r n from this point what we can do now let us factor out the common factor which is s n this side we remain with a one minus r same if we, if we factor a we remain with 1 minus Rn. See, we divide everything now. This cancels this. Then 1 minus R. Then our fine, I don't have much space, but finally, this is what we'll get. Which is the sum for what now? For the the sum for the geometric what series this formula you see then we normally 
have another version of this of this formula uh, let me see if i have enough space which is like this a r n minus one where are we r minus one the difference between the two is that we use this one if we have r value which is greater than one then this one if r is less than one see that's the only difference but at the end of the day we manage to prove what that formula which is the sum for what for the geometric geometric what series you see um if i can even continue now let me just give you a a simple or oh let me just consider this one the very same example which we which i gave you earlier this one but now i want us to use what the formula you see then so simple check the value of r we are going to consider which one this one or this one clearly this one you see this one to make it easy for us right? then how many terms do i do i have here i have three terms m is equals to three see so simple then the value of r is two do i have a yes a is equals to one then let us consider that formula which is sn a is one minus one a is one r is two our n is three minus one r value is two minus one so simple then it's like one two three this one and two minus one then i get seven indeed we got seven uh, i still remember it's like it's so simple because i can even add this four two six plus one seven you see still get the same answer i wanted for you to see that by using this formula we can still get the very same thing for us to use this formula we need n r and a then just like that we are done with this problem and if you are new to this channel don't forget to do what to subscribe subscribe man thank you and enjoy